Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to another episode of my Mercury Farm Start From Scratch Let's Play series. It's another day where it is pouring down with rain in game, which is going to make things quite challenging because I was kind of expecting to do some harvesting today on a couple of the fields, but obviously rain is definitely going to stop play now, which is quite bad. Um, so I'm kind of wondering what we're going to do. Uh, the sheep could do with some food. Um, I think I, th I gave them, I did give them some grass yesterday whilst I was doing the mowing of the forage harvesting of field 51. Um, Dolores is already out going full on um, cultivator mode on field 64, mate. Helgi's down here doing the, um, or Doug's down here doing the uh, fertilizer spreading. This is what I was talking about in the previous video. I don't think I've actually showed you the Titan fertilizer spreader that I bought a couple of episodes back and have been using for fertilizer spreading fields. It does solid fertilizer. It's not liquid. It's not spraying fertilizer. It's not spraying any kind of liquids. It does solid fertilizer and it does lime, this machine. And it's currently doing the fertilizing of field 51 because obviously we need to put the fertilizer on it after harvesting the grass. So he's going to do that and then he's going to go and do a couple of the other fields. So he'll probably end up doing this field for me, field 60. He'll probably end up doing field 39. Um, and whatever else we can get done today because obviously rain is... Why does it always rain on this map? It's like Fen Fenton Forest. Fenton Forest and this map are the two maps that I've played on where I've had the most rain. And it gets quite annoying because obviously I've got wheat to harvest here and I can't harvest it. I don't know how long it's going to rain for, how long the rain is projected to last. But um, we need to get on and do some things. Uh, let's grab the tractor. And grab the cedar, I think. Because we're going to go and obviously plant grass on field 39. I'm going to have to put some seed and some fertilizer in it because it looks like it, the cedar is empty. <laughs> I will also probably have to lease a cedar at some point because I also realized whilst recording this episode that we don't actually own another cedar. When I seeded previously with the Amazoni, that was only a leased machine. We still only technically own one cedar planter type thing, so I'm going to have to borrow another one to do field 60 and possibly field 46 or 48 whichever one it is across the road there when the wheat's been harvested um, although I'm at the stage in my mind where I'm thinking once I've harvested a field I might not bother actually now at this point in time bother um, replanting it because obviously I'm looking to bring this series to an end probably in the next one or two episodes after this one so Ideally, I just want to start getting everything sold off, everything that we've produced, grown, harvested. I want to get it all sold off, get a quick recce of the uh, money situation and see where we're at financially, Lily. And um, get ready to take that money to a new map, which I think will be Welker's Farm, Welker Farms. And we will need that money to obviously buy ourselves all the big buds and big brutes and stuff like that that the Welkers have that unfortunately the map authors don't give you in your starting equipment. And obviously we're going to have to sort out the starting equipment, make sure we are covered with what we need to work that map and the fields on that map. So I'm going to leave the cedar there for a second because I'm going to go try and give the water to the sheep. Um hoping that I can do it just before the animal worker mod kicks in this will be the first morning since I've installed that mod so I don't know what time it's supposed to kick in but it will kick in and then it will give all the animals all the food water straw etc that they need um, so this is my last chance to do it manually before somebody comes and does it for me and then sends me a bill Oh no, yeah, he's, he's done it. Animal worker. Oh, it's just beat me. But why is my money going down? What What's going on? Where's all my money going? Where's all my money gone? 
Um. Uh, where's my money going? What's going on? How many times is the animal worker charging me for feeding these animals? Uh, that's not good. Um, quick, tu turn, turn the mod off. Turn the mod off. <laughs> turn it off. Disabled. It's burnt through all our money. That's, 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 there's got to be something wrong with that mod. That's not right, surely. Surely it hasn't cost me a million, over a million pound to feed a few sheep and a few chickens. What the hell? Well, there goes my plan of taking money to the new map because we've just lost it all. We're in debt now. <laughs> We're in the red. Oh my lord, what? the heck happened there? It's fed and watered everything. But at what cost? Over a million pounds? That seems a bit excessive, Mr. Mod Maker. Mr. Mod Maker Animal Pen Madness Man. Um, I think your mod's script runs too many times. How many times does it build me? Hell. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like that. I'm sorry. Right, so let's have a look then. I'm going to do some fertilizer spraying. Fertilizer spreading type stuff. How much silage have we got in here, by the way? Oh, it's done fermenting now. We can. Oh, that's it. We can empty that then. I'm not happy about that mod, though. We're going to have to sell something big now to make all the money back. That mod has completely broke my bank balance. We're going to have to sell fertilizers and all sorts now. Now what we got, what we got, what we're doing, right, we've got some stuff in there, we've got some total mix ration, uh, I can go and sell that, um, I could do it with the the wagon, I could take the total mix ration down to the animal dealership, sell it, and then um, bring some manure back for the fertiliser mecha. Um, Although I'm not entirely, I probably, it probably won't let me buy manure though, will it, if we're this much in, heavily in debt? It probably won't let me. Because um, that would make this journey more profitable. If I'm taking TMR down to the animal dealer to sell, if I can bring manure back to turn into fertiliser, I'm making money in both directions. Um... 
But that, that Animal Worker mod has just completely screwed up this game. Why did he charge me that much money? How much did, did it charge me? One million five hundred and ninety two thousand seven hundred and thirty six pounds? That's a bit excessive, that is. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. Sorry. I wouldn't normally do this sort of thing. I wouldn't normally condone cheating. But that mod definitely didn't work properly. So let's put the money back. Let's add that money back to our bank account. And then let's just take off one lot of 2000 and whatever it was that they were trying to bill me for. For feeding and looking after the animals. That's better. That's better. Right. <sighs> Fixed. <laughs> but we'll never touch that animal worker mod again. <laughs> Not on this game, anyway. Um, so we'll take that and get rid of it. Um, we'll take, as I say, we'll get rid of the TMR. We'll bring some manure back. I may actually switch trailers and use the bigger trailer because I could obviously cart a bit more TMR down here with the big trailer. Hey, that's weird. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going to the... I'm trying to see, oh, I remember now, I was trying to see if it was possible to sell the TMR at the garden centre. Because if you haven't guessed or not, I'm, again, I'm recording this commentary after I recorded the episode. Because when I came to edit the episode here in Sony Vegas, um, I realised that my microphone was muted the whole time I was in-game actually recording this. So it didn't, Shadow, so Shadowplay didn't record my commentary as I was doing the video recording. So I'm having to do it, make a, make a whole new commentary up in post, trying to remember what I did, which is incredibly difficult. Because as I said in the last video, I've just started a wonderful course of um, um, medication today to help with my um, back pain and stuff. And um, it's affecting my memory a little bit. And you know what's really weird? It's the first time I've ever noticed it, but the, uh, the cafe, the little... Um, burger van thing wasn't in the next to the playground. Does the burger van not show up when it's raining? Because I've never noticed that before. That's something interesting. That's a bit of a, an attention to detail by Alien Jim, isn't it? If it rains, there's no burger van lady and there's no kids playing in the playground either. That's genius, Jim. Do you know how he does all these little things and gets it and makes it work without using scripts? That's that's weird, Daddy. That's genius, Jim. That's genius, wee Jim lad. I don't know if he's Scottish or not. I don't know why I said that. Say, <laughs> blame the meds. Me, me, they're making me brain funny. I'm on two paracetamol, two ibuprofen, and two codeine every four hours. So that's six tablets every four hours. That doesn't include all the other medication I take for other conditions I have. It's a bit of a lottery at the minute. You don't know how they're all going to react together and whether I'm going to experience any side effects or anything. But definitely, the one thing I am noticing is I can't remember what I did this morning. So even though I recorded these videos only a couple of hours ago, I'm actually watching them like, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> but I must have done it. <laughs> so anyway, there's the manure. We're getting the manure. So this will go to the... What I probably should have done was put this through the BGA. So we get paid for the manure and we get the digestate. I think I only go and put it straight into the fertilizer bin. So I kind of missed out, I missed the trick there. I was probably still really confused about that animal worker mod and messing up everything. And the um and the burger van lady not being available, so I can't get any bacon sandwiches today. I can't get any bacon sandwiches and a coke. I've not no I've never noticed that before on this in the series that when it rains she don't show up for work. She doesn't turn up and the kids don't turn up to the playground. 
But I guess it makes sense, really, that they wouldn't if it was raining. How bizarre. Yeah, there's definitely no burger van there. There's our little orchards, they'll be enjoying this, um, they'll be enjoying all this. I'm actually going to put some manure in the orchards. Ah, see that, that makes sense. Now I know why I took the auger wagon, because I wanted to see if I could fill these up with manure, and it doesn't look like I can. I may have to just dump this on the ground, and then go get the wheel loader to come over with the bucket. Oh, hang on. No, it is unloading. It is unloading. Oh, you've got to do it in front of the concrete base. You've got to do it on the grass in front. Okay. Okay. That's all right, then. Manure can go there. The rest of the manure, actually, in here, I'm just going to dump. I'm going to dump it on the ground somewhere over here. Force unload it, just so there's a little bit of a manure heap next to the orchards that we can just refill from. That's right. I remember now. It's, my brain's coming back to me. I'm not taking any of this for fertiliser. The manure is going purely here. I'm just going to have a pile of it here. So if they need to fill the orchards in future, they can just get a shovel and do it. And it should keep them going for quite a while, this little hit heat that I'm going to make. It's far enough from the field that we should run into it when we're harvesting. If we ever get to harvest that field, because obviously the rain, as long the longer the rain continues, the more at risk we are of having that crop wither. And if that crop withers because of the rain, then I'm definitely going to rage quit this map at that point. <laughs> I'll be like, that's it, done. Screw you game, screw you weather. The next map I play on best not have any rain. Welcome Farms, you best not have any rain on that map. Because I tell you what, if, if one of those fields on that map gets withered because you can't harvest it because of the rain, that's going to be brutal because those fields are huge. And to lose so much crop because you can't harvest in the rain, that would be devastating. Absolutely devastating. Hot us over here next to this. I'm not going to use this. I was thinking about using this with the milling machine to empty the silo, the bunker silo. But um, I think I'm best off using a tractor. And seeing as Dolores has finished cultivating at this point in time, um, I figure that's probably... A good thing. Put the uh, put the cultivator back. She's got the big tractor anyway. She's got the big 380 case. So um, that should definitely be able to pull the trailer and do the old um, the milling machine. Operate the milling machine. So we should be able to get all that silage out of there. There's nearly 800,000 liters, I think, in there. Um, which is going to be pretty crucial. Oh, Dolores, what are you doing? Watch where you're going. At least you've got it back on its wheels. <laughs> There's going to be a lot. How much is left in there? 180,000 litres. Um, we ought to sell that, really. The TMR, because we're, ne we're never going to use it for anything because we don't have cows. So we might as well sell all that. Now I can probably think about bringing some manure back with me for the fertilizer machine. Because this hot trailer obviously holds a lot more um, fertilizer. 
will hold a lot more manure than the auger wagon. Plus, it it will tip a lot quicker. I think. So we'll empty this into the BGA. We'll then empty the TMR ticket and sell it. Then we will empty the silo bunker. There we go. It's the only thing I can think of doing because, again, the rain just stops you from doing everything. I can't really think of what else I could do. I don't think there's any other field work that needs to be done. I think we're just waiting for crops to grow. Um, we do need to seed field 60, but I'm not going to do it with a small seeder. I'm going to get a bigger seeder for that. And I'll probably use the quad track, in all fairness. Probably makes more sense to use the quad track then to pull a bigger seeder on that field and have it done in a couple of passes. And then we'll keep that seeder leased until the end of the series, which will, as I say, is probably in one or two videos time. Might as well, as I say, might as well get the uh, the old BGA processing some of the silage now. Get it cooking. Getting the last of the songs done. That's done. Don't know if there's any more in there. Mm. We'll go, go grab the um, TMR now, and then we'll take that down to the uh, to the animal dealership. Down to the animal dealer. Quick, give him a few more. It's a long old drive down to the animal dealer. It, it's never got much closer, the whole series. <laughs> it never got any closer to us, did it, the animal dealer? In all these episodes.
A shame, really, that it's so far away. Yeah, the burger van. She's still not there. Must be losing a lot in trade today then with the weather. She's not the only one suffering because of the rain and the forecast. Right, unload this and tell you what, it's going to be a lot easier so rather than me making multiple trips. Whilst this is unloading, why don't I just sell off the animal, the, the cow food maker? It'd be a lot easier. Just just sell it. They'll, put, they'll still pay us for what's in there, so. There we go, let's get rid of that. Let's sell that, yeah. Done. Right, we'll take some manure back with us then. Right, let's lease a cedar. Come on. I'm going to lease a cedar so that we can get the quad track going. Uh, do we go for the horse? One of the horses? 12 metre jobbies? Um. No, I think we go for the Amazonia again. It's a good little cedar, that is. The good little cedar. Let's go fetch it with our quad track. I know it doesn't match the track, it's not the same colour as the tractor. I ought to have a look to see if we've got a modded version of the um, Amazonian that we can change the colours on in future to make it match with our equipment. It'd be nice just to be able to have it in like white and something ready for when I'm, I'm, I'm using big buds on a future map. <laughs> Give it some seed. Give it some fertilizer. And off we can go. 
And what I'll do is, as well, because this is obviously quite big, this cedar, and because the quad track's quite long in itself, I will do a, a bit of a headland up it. I'll go straight up the side of each, up, up the side of the field. I'll come down the other side of the field, and then I'll go up the side of the field next to the BGA, just so that when, obviously, I leave Doug or Helgi or whoever this is seeding to do it, they'll have a bit more room to turn around. Right, so let's find a GPS course that's running up the field. That'll be about perfect, I think. Possibly looking at it. Oh, it might be a bit wide. Might just have to auto width it a little bit. But then it'll want to put in offsets and everything. Look. yeah rather than doing a headland all the way around the field i think it just needs to be done on the edges and if i start him in this top corner because he's not going to quite reach the edge of the field look because he's going to hit that silly little 2d border thing i must admit i think what i might try and do right before the end of the series i might see if it's possible to delete that 2d border from the map just to see if it's possible and then we can see if we can drive around the rest of the map that would be so cool if we could. Be able to find a way to make the rest of the map all buyable and purchasable and ownable as well. That would be quite cool. Actually, I'll do a second strip up this field because obviously I don't want to risk it driving down the embankment and ending up at the shops. <laughs> And then obviously just do this little bit up here next to this field, next to the BGA, so it doesn't have to drive into the BGA. And we just go a little bit past the edge, not too far, that'll do. Stop there. Perfect. Perfect. 
All right, we'll start at the top corner and then just let him run. Dart it up and just let him go. That one's finished, so he's finished planting the grass now. Perfect. We'll probably use this tractor then, I suppose. We can put the um, we can put the milling machine on the front of this one if we need to. Oh, the vehicle's back. That's the cedar. That's where that can live now. Bring the manure back. So actually, no. We will use the bigger track. We'll use this tractor for doing the um, silage. It's bigger. It can hold more. Still no burger van, no kids playing. <sighs> oh, why is a bacon sandwich? <laughs> bacon sandwich and some pot, please. Bum bum cars are everywhere. Bum bum cars are there. Bum bum cars are everywhere. There you go. Get that fertiliser going in, that manure going in there, that'll make fertiliser for us. That'll get that done. 
Right. Now we can move on to getting the milling machine going, I suppose. Oh, I'll be next on the list. Milling machine. Put the weight somewhere. From the tractor, take that off the front. Get the milling machine going. This will take a while, so I'll, I will be putting an edit in the video here. I'm not going to show, make you sit through the whole painful process of emptying this bunker silo with this milling machine and this trailer, because it is a lot of backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards to empty it. <laughs> so we'll, um, we'll be putting in a bit of a break. I'll show you the first trailer load or so going in, and then I'll cut to when I'm done. Otherwise, this video will be two hours long. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna sit through that. Not even me, because I will find it very uncomfortable to sit in this chair for two hours. And that's with the pain pills. Not to have to fish in the sea. <laughs> Sorry, that's me laughing at another joke that I just heard in my head. Wow. These pills make you trip, man. Why do real drugs? Just get to the doctor to you prescribe you some normal ones. Woohoo! <laughs> the, the title of this video should be Farming on Drugs. <laughs> Farming whilst tripping. <laughs> wow. They are really starting. Wow. <laughs> They're starting to kick in. Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> Woohoo. Yeah, it's probably a good job. I, I'm not recording anymore today. <laughs> after this because I'd just be jibber jabbering I wouldn't be making any sense so let's get the milling done let's get the silage tipped hope for a dry day tomorrow on the farm and then we can get all this sort of stuff taken care of I might need to set up a course play course just to get the um, digestate moved from the BGA to the fertilizer machine. And then I might need a course play course. Wait, what's that doing? What is that spraying over there? What are you spraying over there for, man? Are you trying to fill the bucket on the wheel loader? Don't, 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 don't do that, dude. Don't need to do that. You don't need to fill the wheel, wheel loader. Let's have a look. Did he did he put did he put stuff in the wheel loader? He did. He put 95 liters of silage in the wheel loader. Right, we'll we'll put that in the BGA, and then we'll temporarily park the uh, wheel loader somewhere else. So the milling machine doesn't try to fill it when we come up here to empty. <laughs> we'll park it round the back here, look out the way. If it can fill it from here, from, from there, it's doing a good job. That's a better milling machine than I thought. If it can fill that bucket from there. But yeah, it's clearly going to take a little while to get this pit emptied. So, as I say, I'm going to put a, put a bit of an edit in, cut it all out. There's a good chance that when I was recording it, I probably stopped talking anyway. So you're not going to miss much of the commentary during that whole emptying the bucket thing, silo thing. Because I probably didn't say a lot whilst I was doing it. Because I was probably thinking of cutting all that out or time-lapsing it anyway, maybe. 
but I'm just going to cut it out. I'm not even going to bother doing the time lapse. <laughs> no time lapses today. I'm too tripping. I'm tripping. Can't do a time lapse when I'm tripping. Plenty of signage going in. Plenty of signage going in. Quick cut, jump cut now, coming up in a few seconds. Here we go. Start to blend it, start to merge it. Here we go. Ooh, fade out. There we go, all done. Last load about to be delivered. There we go. The last batch of silage we're going to cook in that bunker in this series. I don't think I'm going to mow field six, uh, 51 again. I don't think I'll do any more mowing in this Let's Play series. I think I'm done with the mowing. Um, we we'll park the trailer just down here. We'll need that in the next episode for starting fertilizer runs down to the um, garden center. The garden center? The garden Santa. Right. Pick the weight up. Then we'll start doing some tanker runs. We'll start them um, getting the digestate moved over. Chances are, chances are that the um, fertilizer station will get full before we've got the digestate emptied. So we may have to start the fertilizer runs pretty soon as well because there ain't going to be enough room in there for all the digestate that we're going to be making and baking. Yeah, definitely get a. If I get a course play course set up, I can have the truck doing this loop whilst we're going down. While I've got another one of the workers, one of the peasants, either Helgi or Dolores, doing the um, trailer runs all the way down to the garden centre to get rid of the fertiliser. Part of the quad track just there in between all that equipment so it's out of the way when we come to do the harvesting which I really hope is going to be tomorrow I really hope this rain stops because I will not be happy if we lose a field of crop because of rain stopping play I mean, technically, I know technically speaking, if we do lose the crop, the only thing I'm going to lose is the ability to make some seed. We get paid a nice bit of money for seed, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it wouldn't break the bank if we didn't. We're going to make more. We'll, we'll make double for the fertilizer, won't we? So the main thing is getting the fertilizer done. That's where the bank's going to come from. The bank is going to come from all that lovely fertiliser. So all this digestate going in now, and it gets converted, that's where the money's made. And it'll be nice to have a nice good bit of kit to... Uh, Let's do record this as a starting point. Let's set up a course play course for this. So we've got first point here. This is the fill point. We'll drive round to the empty, and then we'll um, just let it run. It shouldn't have any problems doing this course.
that'll get the um, uh, digestate shifted. As I say, I've already got a course that will do trailer runs of um, fertilizer down to the garden center. So I can get a tractor and trailer to do that in the next video. Um, so two of the, so Helgi and Dolores can be doing that. Doug can be doing harvesting, and, but he'll have to self-service then when it comes to unloading the harvester. Whilst they're sorting out, making us tons of money from all the fertilizer sales. set to rock and roll we'll stay with it this first time whilst he's driving the course solo we'll just keep an eye on him make sure he does it properly if he does no problem we'll go off and do some ourselves we'll start to do some ourselves for the last few minutes of this video in this episode so fertilizers going in I'm oh, sorry, digestate is going in. It's opened the top. It's reached the tip trigger. It's tipping. Don't know why it says tip trigger reached at the bottom of the screen because I've got the mini hub turned off. Have I? I have got it turned off, so there shouldn't be any reason why that's on the screen. Off it goes to get the next load, so that's working fine. Does he fill up okay? Yeah, looks like it. So, what are we going to do next? We're going to uh, we need some grain in there, so we need some wheat in there, really. Um, there's a little bit of lime in there, not much. Obviously, we'll be getting all this sold off. There's going to be a lot of fertilizer to sell off before the end of the end of the series. Um, there'll be all the wool and everything as well from the sheep, the eggs, stuff like that. Obviously, I'm hoping the rain is going to stop so we can get on to feel. Look at that little. Three fields now need harvesting, and field 48 is at the um, critical last harvest stage. Um, if that rain don't stop soon, we, that field is going to wither, and we're going to lose that crop. That is bad. I don't like that. I don't like that rain. Right, well I don't think there's a lot more we can really do today. So I'm probably going to say thank you everybody for tuning in to watch this video. Uh, sorry it's been a bit wet and miserable here on the Mercury Farms, but unfortunately I can't control the weather. I can control a lot of things in life, but the weather is not one of them. So please go ahead and click that like button again. Consider it a pity like, because of obviously we're not having the best of luck at the minute <laughs> on the farm with conditions. Um, nor am I having a lot of joy with the actual recording process having to again record commentary after the fact because I forgot I didn't realise the mic was muted when I was doing the recording originally so go ahead leave that like uh, leave your comments questions, suggestions, feedback in the comment section down below if you're not already doing so please go ahead click that subscribe button I've been see what he's so and I'll see you again very soon for the next episode. Goodbye for now.